today I have a fragrance by Natalie Larson 2006. There are a gajillion reviews on this one already, but it deserves one more because this fragrance is amazing. This is Peter from Scent Trail. If you like fragrances or just like smelling great, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and let's jump into this amazing fragrance I got planned for you today. The presentation of this fragrance is just absolutely stunning. Let me see if I can get you that one right there. Look at this. Boom. I mean, what an amazing fragrance. This fragrance will look stunning on any shelf. Black, shiny finish, simple letter across the front, square wooden cap, nice and snug. I mean, this thing is so amazing. I think I'm gonna give it a spray. Love this one. Oh man. Encre Noir, Natalie Larson, 2006. Let's see more about this fragrance. So the cypress and vetiver notes keep this fragrance fresh, while the musk and cashmere notes darken the fragrance. There is a woody, grassy DNA that smells a bit like wet dirt. Beautiful. Ancre Noir can be worn by anyone if you just feel a little bit daring. There are three in this lineup of Ancre Noir. The original one, 2006. Then we had, the next one that came out was the Sport in 2013. And if, I don't know if you can see this at all, but it has like a blue liquid in it. And this one doesn't stay quite as long as the other ones, but it's an amazing fragrance. If you're looking for something in that line, that fragrance DNA just a bit lighter for summer. Although I think you can wear any one at any point. They're that good. In the Ancre Noir Sport, they livened it up with bergamot, lavender, and grapefruit to give it a more summery appeal. Absolutely love this fragrance for the high heat. The third one that came out was the Extreme. Let me see where I have it. That's the Ancre Noir extreme and I believe that one was in 2015. In the Ancre Noir extreme, uh, l'extreme, Ancre Noir uh, l'extreme, they added patchouli and sandalwood. They added patchouli and sandalwood in this one to deepen the fragrance even further. Let me see. And you definitely can tell that there's patchouli in there and it just lowers it and makes it just a little bit warmer. While I think the, uh, the original one is a bit more on the wet, grassy, uh, fresh dirt side, this one is just a little bit warmer with the patchouli. But still, all three have the same fragrance DNA. And the juice, you can actually see the juice in this one versus the solid black and then you have the uh, the blue hope you can see that against my shirt me I don't know there you go right in front of my face yeah those three fragrances are absolutely amazing so this fragrance will look good anywhere you put it you can buy this one for around 20 25 dollars it's a crazy good price and it's a masterpiece. So Natalie Larson created this fragrance for a price that everyone can afford and have a smell that is definitely niche quality. Ancre Noir, the original, the Sport, or the All Extreme is a fragrance that everyone should own or at least smell once. It's that good. The inky, dark, deep, and sensual fragrance of Ancre Noir is so amazing it will be on our shelves for years to come so this was a quick review about a classic Ancre Noir 2006 by Natalie Larson lots of people have done reviews on it I realize that 
but this one deserves a special place. So if you liked this review, hit the like, subscribe if you're interested in fragrances or if you got anything out of this video at all. This is Peter with Centrail. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one. Centrail, out.